Hello, welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, Henry Kirby's from Reactive Micro sent me a couple of uh, items for a new solution for composite to HDMI video. So I'm gonna be analyzing. I actually got the equipment here. It's a very nice small screen. And also um, got the solution, an HDMI to composite connector with very high quality cables, HDMI and composite. So I'm going to be testing it with different computers and see how it looks. So let's start. And here we have the reactive adapter with two high quality cables, power supplies, and the monitor. In the back, we have VGA, composite, USB, but the most important one is the HDMI. Now let's put it together. Here's the composite that goes in the yellow connector, the HDMI, and then of course it goes in the back of the monitor. We connect the power supply for the adapter and then the 12 volt power supply for the monitor. Let's start with the 2C. Here we can see when it changes from monochrome to color. And let's try the MECC monitor identification text and graphics. Again, it goes to color, but the colors are really good, really strong and sharp. The 80 column text is sharp and nice, very readable. As you can see, the monitor never loses synchronization. It's pretty sharp, pretty fast, and it displays everything really quick. Frankly, the GS is not a good system to test this monitor or this cable, but I had it here and say, well, why not? Well, I just got myself an Apple III and got it laying around here, so again, why not? Frankly, these graphics in my normal composite monitor didn't display very sharp. Over here, they're really, really sharp and nice. The only bad part is that all these graphics will display in black and white. I need an RGB monitor for them to display in color. What a shame. This tool is enhanced, it has a fast chip, a RAM factor, memory card, and a CFFA in slot 2. Again, we can see that it never loses synchronization when moving from monochrome to color. 
Let's see if I can accelerate it to display it real fast. As you can see, the display is set to the default modes. So imagine if you can change the contrast and sharpness and tweak it a little bit more. It will look a lot better. I'm going to change the display ratio to 4x3 so it displays exactly how a CRT would look like. So here are my conclusions. I think this uh, product is really good. Uh, Henry has done a great job making sure that the quality of the product and the output are um, up to, to par. Um, what I like about the monitor is that it's very quick. It doesn't show any logo when it starts up. It really starts up real fast. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, ABT's very, very cool shirts. Take care.